Just me and Texas Comic One, Comic Time, and I'm excited for this because this is my very first comic slab. It is. I'll tell you a little story first of all because this is. I started collecting comics when I was about 13. I used to go from on my lunch break, go from Notting Hill onto the train, run down to Notting Hill, yeah, from, from my school, catch a train to uh, Tom Court Road, and go to Gosh Comics. Or I'll go to Paul Bear Road and there's a fantastic store there, comics, and it's called a comic shop. And uh, I collected comics for about a good 10 years, so I was about 23, 24. But I stopped, I stopped when I was like 18 because they were getting expensive in them days, they were still. And uh, so I got comics there and then QBC came around and I got... Start getting some more comics. I was doing big bundles and that for like 20 quid. You had like 40 comics and old style ones. And, uh, and I started getting some signature ones, yeah, from QVC. I've got like Death of Superman or uh, The Wedding of Superman as well, signed by all the artists. I've got a X Men number one uh, signed by Stan Lee. I said, My father in law's loft, I need to get that out and get that slapped. Uh, I've got loads, I've been showing them on my Instagram and that and uh, so I've had these comics since I was 13 I've got about a thousand comics I think is some of them in great condition, some not so I've only, the thing is though, they're in the plastic bags and I've only think I've opened them up once when I first had a little read of them and when I've been taking some pictures, that's it so I've got comics from about 40 years old, even someone 45 years old. I've got one signed by Bob, no, Gil Kane, that's it. The Green Lantern one, and he's put down a little Green Lantern sign. Uh, but yeah, I love comics. I love the feel of the old soul comics. I really do. And uh, I've had them for about, I say, I'm 48. I've let me age out of the bag now. 49 soon. But, uh, I've had these comics for over 35 years. Before I've moved about eight or too many times I've moved, but they've kept with me. And uh, I might sell them soon, I don't know, but I love the old style comics, the feel of them, I really do. And then I've been watching Triple G Comics, Peter, and uh, he's so infectious, isn't he? <laughs> Good old Geordie lad. Is so infectious, and uh, I saw him open up some mystery boxes. But then I've been seeing Chris Bell, Fuzzy Dunlop getting slabs, and uh, I've never had a slab in my life. And uh, I thought I need to get, I want to get one, see what, see what it's like. You know what I mean? Just have a, and it's Christmas time. I said to my mother in law, she asked, What do you want? I said, Okay, can I get a mystery? Uh, slab please so I've seen Peter open up from this site and it is comicbox.co.uk they're doing mystery boxes so I, had a, I watched them as I saw it so I went on their site had a look and uh, they do mystery boxes for slabs from like 50 quid up to 250 pound and you get some comics with it as well so I ordered the 50 pound one I'm, I'm a tight bar bugger and uh I thought I'd like to get a slab just this once, you know what I mean? So I've been mean, getting like loads of grab bags from Forbidden Planet and I just don't feel right to me because the newer comics, I, I don't know, I prefer the old style. Maybe because I'm just an old git and that. Uh, and uh, I've seen Peter open up because they do on comic box, they do mystery boxes as well. Uh, like the old. Copper style, Silver Age, uh, even the new style DC, Marvel, independent comic. And they, again, they do slab mystery boxes. So I've already opened this, so I know what it is. But I'll show you the mystery. That's just, I'll show you. Like I said, I'm going to put the links down below to their website and Instagram. It's a great site as well. Brilliant delivery. Uh, 
it was fast actually considering we had postal stripes great packaging so i've opened it up already so i know what the slab is but and i was well happy but i've got the mystery box for the comics first of all let's get these out i'll show you before we get to the comic slab so we've got gen 13 that's not a bad cover but again it's an old style artwork not the old style the new artwork like cartoony style i'm just not a fan of you know and then again we've got gen 13 again and you got didn't have this i don't know it's a bit naughty that we covered that in it but i'm not too sure don't like that cover really black and white it's, it's a bit like manga isn't it because like my, my other son loves black and white manga and uh there you go I, it's an interesting one it's different but i do like the art i do like that artwork that's brilliant that one and then oh jim lee wildcats look at that cover oh it's like a i can't remember the name of it but it makes it shine in that now this that yeah i like that I've got a couple of Wildcat comics up upstairs as well. And we've got Darkness Vampirella. Ooh. Nice. Again, that's from Image Comics. That's a number one. And that, I do like that. And Joe you know what? That's some lovely artwork there. I do like that. Sorry about the glare. Nice. I'm happy with that one. Next, we have... Rising Stars Bright. It's based on the film. I remember the film Bright. I actually enjoyed that. I'm not sure about this is Image Comics. Not too bad artwork. I do like this one. Yeah, that's a thumbs up from me on that one. And then we've got Cursed Worlds, I think it is. From Image Comics. So it looks like all these are from Image Comics. That's an interesting cover. But again, it's this style of artwork I'm not a fan of really. I don't know why. It's just don't float my boat. Then we got Mayday. So it looks like this mystery box is all Image Comics. There it goes. Look artwork there so but joe you know what you got i'll show you all oh, outcast now that is a bad cover not bad. as you youngsters say sick that is cool i like that issue 19 uh, but it's the art i don't know i'm not a fan of the artwork the cover's nice but not a fan then you got Oh yes, Battle of the Planets. I used to love this cartoon. I watched it as a kid. I've got the, the Funko Pops. I want them to do more, but oh yes. Oh, just on that cover alone. It takes my fancy. Oh, now that is artwork. I love it. I love that. I really do. Now that that's just like the cartoon. Now, so that is ten comics. Three, yeah. So Joe, you know what? Ten comics these days. They say they're about four. When Forbidden Planet again, they're like charging five quid for a comic. I'm like, what the? Are you taking Mick? So you're talking thirty quid's worth of comics there, really, or more. So I do like that about the planets. But now, the pizza response. Now, I was actually shocked because I thought, let's get this out first and I'll show you what it is first of all. So I thought slabs would be chunky. I mean, well, like he might have been in the day, really chunky. So I was expecting a chunky one like that, like that thick. But it's, it's actually quite thin. And I was actually surprised. So are you ready? And it is. Secret Invasion, and it's a 9.2 grade. So, it's done my CGC Universal grade, Secret Invasion Variant 1. I think this comic came out in 2008. So, it's about 
20 years old could be but i'm not i'm getting used to all these variant covers but secret invasion i remember reading this comic and wow i am when i opened this first of all i was opening it with marvel i do like marvel i love my dc as well because i was brought up on both but just seeing that oh i was like yes ecstatic and it is not i say secret invasion number one 92 9.2 very but as you see it's very thin i thought it was gonna be thick but oh, i feel yes yeah, so secret invasion is when the the scrolls have been taken over the earth for a long time and they inf infiltrate them cut taking over as becoming heroes and that but to invade, invade earth and i read the uh graphic novel not long ago and it was a great story. I'm look, I am looking forward to the miniseries they're doing for Disney. So hopefully they do this justice. But I am bloody happy to have this as my first slab. And that's my birthday coming soon. So should I ask for another slab? Let me know in the comments what you think. Should I get another slab for my birthday? Because it's in February. So this is going out. Probably just start of January. So I've got a month or two. To sweet talk the missus around. But for my first slab, I am gobsmacked. So thank you again. And like I say, you need to go out, go and check comicbox.co.uk. I'll put all their links down below to Instagram, the web page, I think the Facebook as well. But there's one more final look. I am. I was well happy I, when I opened this yet yeah, the day at, on Christmas Day it was yeah I opened on Christmas Day I was like yes so this is variant number one of eight I think it says Marvel Comics six slash oh eight so I'm not sure if there's six that means six variants but it says there's one of eight so but oh yeah like I say, I'm happy. So, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you enjoy my, me showing comics off, if you like me to do a video showing some old comics, let me know, please. I, will do, I don't mind doing it. I will show them. But uh, let me know what if I should. Yeah, I'm happy. First, thank you again. I'll see you in the next video, guys and girls. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Oh, and I will put a link down below for Triple G Comics, Peter. Great guy, check his videos out.